What's up guys, gonna do a quick update on my Mark 18. I did get a package from Shooter CB Gear. I was gonna do an unboxing, but I think I'm gonna wait until uh, the comparison video that I'm gonna do on the FMA LA5 PEC 15 versus the Element PEC 15, or LA, Element LA5 PEC 15 that I also have coming in from JK Army. Uh, hopefully it gets here soon. JK Army kind of twiddles their thumbs, it seems, when it comes to shipping out orders. So, uh, same thing happened with my old beta project, MX200. They seem to take forever to actually ship it out, even though they advertise the product as being in stock, getting everybody hyped uh, for the product. And then they kind of sit on their hands for a while before they actually send out the orders. Uh, similar thing happened with my uh, Flash Force Industries woodland set which is why I didn't have my woodland set at Broken Home. Not that it mattered, I went home early anyways, so. Uh, without wasting too much of your time, this is my updated Mark 18, really similar to my old setup, really. Um, I really like this setup, uh, more so than uh, what I had before with the EXPS and MX200. Um, I think this is, I think it looks really nice. Uh, it's really lightweight um, and really uh, versatile as far as uh, controls and stuff goes for the light and PEC 15, what have you. Got rid of the VFC PEC 15. This is the FMA LA5 uh, dummy um, adjustment knobs there, but this is the updated model that you see quite a bit of. And I think the FMA looks a lot more realistic. You have this translucent plastic here around the screws uh, looks way more realistic than my VFC did. Unfortunately, the laser, I can't, it, I can't get it to adjust even remotely where I would need the laser to be to actually make use of it. So it kind of sucks, the laser kind of blows on it. Um, one thing that is probably too good on the PEC-15 is the actual light on it. It's incredibly bright. Let me see here if I can get it, yeah. It is ridiculously bright. Um, normally, I think you would use a PEC-15's illuminator to kind of light your way. You wouldn't want it to be super bright. That's kind of why you have a weapon light. Um, but this thing is powered by two CR-123A batteries, so the light is just ridiculously bright. Um, I'd say it's about as bright as the M600C. The M600C is a little bit more focused of a beam, but as you can see, the PEC-15's light is just incredibly bright. So that works if all you want to do is run a PEC-15. This would definitely work uh, as a weapon light as well. If you wanted to run it that way, that way, um, you can, the way you can with the FMA, it's a toggle. You can toggle it. There's several settings on here. This would be a toggle for the illuminator, and then this actually gives you a momentary which if you have it hooked up to a switch would be your other button dual switch there. Um, an odd thing to note is if you do want to run the laser on the FMA LA5 let's see, it's actually a toggle switch for the laser so you don't get a momentary laser whereas with the VFC PEC 15 when you had it set to laser and you had a switch hooked up it would be a momentary switch but this is a toggle which is very odd to see so, uh, it works. Uh, it's still in a, in a nice place. You can activate the laser turn off real quick. Run the light as well. Not a big deal. Kind of cool. But, it's odd that they didn't have a momentary function for the laser, yet they have a momentary function for the illuminator. So, uh, there's that. I'll go more in depth uh, with the FMA PEC-15 uh, when I compare it to the Element version. Um, otherwise, Mark 18 is a setup that you've seen before, Night Evolution dual switch up top here. Uh, had to cut off the rail grabbers, dremeled it a bit to clean it up, and then it wedged between the rails there. I might dremel a little bit more off because it's kind of hanging up more than I want it to. kind of want it to sit down in there a little bit further because right now it's kind of hanging off, which is nice, but I kind of just want it to hang in a little bit more. Um, FMA LA5 Daniel Defense. Convert grip there, really nice grip, really low profile. It also has a sleeve that'll make it longer, so that's cool. Uh, let's see, moving to the right side here. It's Element M600C, really nice light. Uh, got a, got all this stuff from Shooter CB Gear. Um, really nice shot. They shipped real quick, and it got here a lot faster. So more to say about Shooter CB Gear than I do JK Army at this point. Uh, low pro. 
uh, scout mount. You can buy these from, I think it's AMS Machine. Gray Group Training used to sell them, but I don't think Gray Group is around anymore. I tried going to their website and it, like, it was a 404 error. So you can still buy these from AMS Machine. That's where I got this one. Uh, really great mount, really low profile. Um, it's a, my, so far my favorite. I didn't like the FMA uh, replica of the SNS Precision Scout mount since it wobbled when you mounted it. Uh, for the Mark 18 rails anyways, it might be more solid on the 416 rails. But right now, low pro, uh, really solid mount. Uh, I like the offset for the Scouts. It's really cool. And then Optic, kind of did a video on this. It's a Daniel Defense mount with a Primary Arms uh, MD-06 there. Uh, you would get lower one-third probably on a real aim point, but with this one you don't get that really. Still probably usable, but I never really flip up the irons anyways for BB Wars. Uh, you don't really get too accurate any at the in the first place. So just like a point of reference with a red dot, it's just fine. Uh, it's pretty much the entire front end. Lots of Daniel Defense, uh, Offset Scout. And that's how I'm going to be running my Mark 18 for the time being. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.